Hello everyone. Today we're going to be flashing our Lulzbot Taz 3D printer firmware. So here we go. We're going to start on the lulzbot.com website. You want to go to support, my favorite page, and hit the Ohi Kit link. That takes you to ohi-kit.alifobjects.com. Ohi stands for Open Hardware Assembly Instructions Kit. So we're going to come down to firmware flashing. You'll see the big Marlin symbol, installing your 3D printer firmware. And here are all the steps. So here we go. Choose the firmware for the TAS that you're working with. Mine is a TAS 3. And I'll start downloading that archive. Then you want to download the Arduino IDE for the operating system you're working with. Mine is a Mac. And probably someday in the near future, I'll do this on a Windows machine, too. All right. So now that we've got that, we want to extract the files. So click on the Marlin file, and it'll start to extract it to where I downloaded it, which is my downloads folder. And there it is, Marlin Tass. And then as soon as this one's done, we'll want to extract that as well. Well, we've got this Marlin folder open. I'll just lead you to, you're going to want to look at the Arduino add-ons, Arduino 1.x.x, and libraries. You want to keep that open. And then, now we have our Arduino here. I'll drag that into the Applications folder to install it. And there it is. And what it also puts is a folder in your documents called Arduino. And there's another Libraries folder. Now this is the most difficult part of the entire installation. You're going to want to go back to the Arduino add-ons, select the three folders that are the contents of the Libraries folder, drag and drop them into the Arduino Installation Libraries folder. You may not have anything there, but if you do, just replace it all. And that's done. So now we can close these out. All right, now we're going to open the Arduino uh, IDE, install the IDE, open the IDE, merge the folders, and that's what we've done. Okay, so now we're opening the IDE. And of course, Mac takes its time verifying that it's a safe uh, program that we downloaded from the internet. Um, so the next step we're going to do is edit the configuration.h file. Go ahead and tell it to open. So let's copy this text right here. These are This is the uh, line in the code. I just hit Command C to copy. Uh, this is the line in the code that tells your stepper motor for the extruder how many well actually for all your extruders basically how many steps on the stepper motor equals an inch in movement or a millimeter sorry um, so let's see here we want to go to open open find where we had uh, let's see I think I put it in downloads so downloads and you can hit type Marlin if you want. There it is, Marlin Taz. Um, you want Marlin. You look for the INO file and open. All right, then the file we want in here is the configuration.h. You can scroll down and find the right line, or you can just hit Command F to find, Command V to paste this, uh, this line that we copied here hit find and there we are so this fourth e steps number is the one we're want to, going to want to update mine happens to be 875 um, you may have yours from a calibration sheet sent to you from the lulzbot manufacturer uh, you may have found it in a previous calibration or you might not know it yet and don't worry about it let's just go ahead and prepare to upload so we'll check our Instructions here, update, e-steps, and upload the firmware. So let's turn on our TAS. I'm 
turning mine on, sitting next to my computer here. You may hear its very excited fan starting up. And uh, we've got everything. Let's double check that we've got the right. Uh, you want to go up to Tools, make sure we've got the right uh, board selected. The Arduino Mega 2560 or Mega 80K. And also the right COM port. Um, now, through process of elimination, I know it's none of these, and this one has USB in it, so I'm going with that one. It's not the most scientific way of finding out, but then again, life is confusing. So we're going to select that. Taz is all ready to receive the firmware, so let's hit upload. Now it's going to compile the sketch, and then it's going to start to uh, feed it to the Rambo board on the Taz. And that can take a minute, so let's just double check. That will be our last step. Once uh, we have uploaded, once it finishes uploading, you'll actually hear the Taz um, turn off and then turn back on. Um, every once in a while, you'll it'll, you'll get an error, like error compiling. Um, this could be due to incorrectly merging those libraries folders. It could be um, that um, your Taz. Uh, wasn't ready to receive the firmware and so it just kind of sort of spat it back up <laughs> and so you basically just want to go ahead and upload it again um, and of course I'll put in the plug for the fantastic lulzbot support if you ever get stuck in any of these steps um, just give them a call um, the number is 970-377-1111 and they're at extension 2 if you dial extension 1, you'll get sales. They're pretty nice, too. Um, so you may have heard my Taz actually just restarted. It looks like it is in the process of uploading. You may see a blank blue screen while this process is uh, completing. And then as soon as it says upload complete, you are good to go. So um, that's all we have today. Done uploading. Looking on my screen. And I do have that. It has three firmware properly installed, my fan is back on, and I'm going to go print. All right, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, feel free to ask any questions or leave a comment below or even visit the Lulzbot forum sometime where there's a lot of other helpful info for you.